All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to day three. This is day three of the 10-day EOC review, the 10th day of uh, the homework. Um, today's homework is going to be looking at scatter plots, collecting and organizing data to interpret scatter plots. Scatter plots are usually uh, pretty easy uh, problems. Now, this uh, homework is actually particularly easy, and honestly, if you're watching this, you're probably just not confused. You're probably confused with the uh, generating the line. But plotting these points should be no problem. So if you're going to know how to plot these points, just go ahead and fast forward right through this. I'm going to plot these really quickly. Um, you can fast forward. I cannot. So I'm going to have to plot these real quick. I think it's here. Yep. Almost. All right. Check. Making sure right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Like I said before, you might want to just fast forward until all of these points are plotted. Um, and then we can start looking at this a little bit more cleverly. But first thing I'm going to do is plot all these points so that we could look at it in great detail. Negative 6, 0. Then negative 5. Positive 1. Negative 3. Positive 2. Negative one, positive three, one, positive three. I'm starting to see a pattern. Alrighty, four, five, and then seven, six, seven, six, eight. And 10, 7. Okay. Okay. We are there. We got these points plotted, and I could easily see a correlation going on here. There's a definite correlation. Now, uh, real quick, uh, just letting you know uh, what the word correlation means. Correlation uh, means pattern. You can see a pattern, right? And there's different types of patterns, right? There's a positive correlation, right? Positive correlation, which means that the pattern is tending to go up. And then there's also another one that's called negative correlation, right? which tends to me that the correlation is going down, right? Uh, there's also another one, if it's neither one of those, or it would be a negative correlation. If it's neither, oh, sorry, negative, beg your pardon, or it's uh, not negative, we already said negative, negative is this guy. Or it was what's called no correlation. Oops, no correlation, all right? For those who are wondering, what is a positive correlation? Positive correlation, if you have a graph, Looks kind of like this. All the points tend to go up, right? It doesn't have to be a perfect straight line, but the points are generally going up. A negative correlation looks like this. All the points are tending to go down. Once again, it doesn't have to make a straight line. It's just kind of going down. And no correlation is when the points are just wherever the heck they want. No pattern whatsoever. So don't forget the keyword is pattern, right? Pattern, pattern, pattern. This has a positive pattern, right? This has a positive pattern. This has a negative pattern. This has no pattern whatsoever. Okay, back to the problem here. So as you look right here, ask yourself, what is the pattern here? Positive correlation, negative correlation, or no correlation? And I want you to put that answer right here. What is it? Is it positive is it positive, negative, or no correlation, right? Which one is it? Which type of correlation is it? Okay, line of best fit. That's a little tricky, though. Um, the line of best fit is basically drawing a line that kind of looks like it, right? Now, I could definitely tell by looking at this pattern right here that it looks like I'm going to be hitting somewhere around this area for y-intercept. So I'm just going to... Uh, Go ahead and say the winer step more or less could either be either four, three, or two. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick two. I mean, excuse me, big heart and three. You could pick two or four, and most likely still be right, but three just looks so good right now. It looks like it just goes with the pattern, 
All right, so I'm going to pick 3 as a y-intercept. So I'm going to put down 3 as my y-intercept, and I'm going to choose a slope here. Now, the slope cannot be like uh, something that's like 2, right? Because I can't go 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. This is just totally off, so that's no good. You don't want to do a slope like 2. Or even 1. Even a slope of up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1 would still be a terrible decision because it goes off the pattern. See what I'm saying? So you want a slope that goes along with it. I'm thinking that maybe 1 over 2 or 1 over 3. So let me see here. It's either going to be a, it's either going to be 1 over 2 or let me see 1 over 3. That's probably the best choice. Let me see here. 1 over 2 looks like this. Up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Yeah, actually it works out not too bad. I thought it was going to be 1 over 3. That's not too bad, but let me go backwards. See how it works here. Yeah, actually, this looks not too bad. It looks like it fits the pattern pretty well. I was going to try 1 over 3, though. Okay, now I'm curious. And here's your line. But I'm really curious. i got to try it now. Let me see. Take off all those reds. Boom. One more. Ah, I think it's down there. I'm deleting. Yep, I was deleting that. Uh, let's, try, let's try 1 over uh, 1 over 2 looks great. Um, but what about 1 over 3? Uh, let's try 1 over 3. How does 1 over 3 do? Let's see. I think it's going to work out, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to go up 1 over 1, 2, 3. It looks good so far. Up 1 over 1, 2, 3. Up 1 over 1, 2, 3. Undershoots. Uh, not so bad. I think the other one was better, but let me go backwards. See how it works there. Over 1, 2, 3, 1. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, over one, one, two, yeah, and here's your line. Yeah, you know, honestly, it's uh, not bad, but there's better, right? Oops, let me erase here. Uh, one over three is not bad. I mean, it's not the worst case scenario, but this is uh, better. I like one over two. One over two is just like right on it. So I think in one over two is going to be your answer. I gave you the line of best fit right there. All right. So 1 over 2 is your line of best fit. I still need a description of the correlation. You give that to me. Right. You give me the correlation. And that's it. That, that's really it for your homework. Real easy homework, right? Told you it would be. All right. Uh, good job.